please give us your first and last name, and you'll have three minutes. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Good morning. My name is Holly Bacon, and I was born and raised in Portland. I'm a graduate of Parkwood High School and of the University of Oregon. I live in the area and care very much about the city of Portland. I'm here this morning to ask for the resignation of Sam Adams. As Mr. Adams seems unwilling to do the right thing and leave office, I implore the city council members to insist on his immediate resignation. Maybe you have a disconnect with an average citizen like myself and do not understand the impact your actions have on my family and community. Mr. Adams, it might be helpful for you to hear what your unethical, dishonest, and disgraceful choices mean. And yes, they were all choices that you freely made. Let me try to enlighten you. <clears throat> I have a teenager, and the thought of a 40-something-year-old man mentoring my child in the way he chose to mentor both we love is in itself enough reason for your political career to be completely over. But you must have known that, or else why would you have lied about the event? How can anyone believe what you say about anything? You have shown yourself to be quite an effective liar, even going so far as to play the victim when your lie was uncovered. Your dishonest, self-serving attacks on Bob Ball exposes a ruthlessness to go after anyone that gets in the way of your ambitions. In fact, the sympathy you created by playing the poor, innocent, middle-aged gay man might have actually helped to win the vote. Another lie you chose to foster to serve your needs. City council members, how could you all know these things that have been admitted by Mr. Adams and still remain silent? So, abusing a teenager, lying to the public to win an election, slandering a man who tried to expose the truth, to name just a few of the events we the public know about. Then refusing to do the honorable thing and resign. Not the actions of any type of leader I want representing me as the great city of Portland. We teach our children that there are consequences for the choices they make. A child cheats on a test, they receive an F. In college, if someone cheats on an exam, they could get thrown out of school. You drive drunk, you get your license taken away. All these events could be apologized for, even explained in some cases. It doesn't matter. A consequence is a consequence. <clears throat> Excuse me. But can Mr. Adams don't think the consequences apply to you? Your example brings disgrace and dishonor to Portland. I hope that you resign. And City Council, I hope that you help him to do the right thing and resign. Thank you. Thanks for your testimony.